Been ready outdoors. All right, so today we're out here at a property I've got permission to hunt inside city limits. I deer hunted this place this fall. I've uh, seen a lot of deer here. Um, tomorrow is opening morning of turkey season. So what I'm gonna do is kind of not only prepare for tomorrow, I'm gonna get a blind put up for tomorrow morning. Um, I am also getting this spot ready for deer season. When I got permission to hunt this place this year, it was already deer season. and I was not able to do a lot of work out here. So what I'm gonna do is clear a spot through these trees here behind me. I'm gonna move this old blind that was here when I got permission. I'm gonna move it out of the way and I'm gonna clear a spot that sits farther back in the trees because the issue I was having this last fall was there wasn't really a spot with decent amount of cover to set the blind. So the blind stood out, I mean, as you see here, stood out and any movement you made inside the blind, the deer were catching on. Cause I mean, you're so close to where the deer would come out and feed at. So I'm gonna clear this lane here to where I can set the blind farther back inside these trees. And hopefully we see some turkey tomorrow and we get one down with a bow and also this spot will be ready this fall when I come back to put the blind up for deer season. So. We're in Southwest Oklahoma. We're on a piece of property here that is inside city limits. It's a spot that I'd set up last night that I'd come out and trim and set the blind. We heard turkey gobbling this morning right on the other side of the creek, not maybe 100, 150 yards away. As soon as they hit the ground, they shut their mouths. So we're gonna stick around and wait it out and hopefully, hopefully, something will decide to swing in this morning and check out the decoys and we can get a shot. So stick with us and let's see what happens. Spot this morning there in town did not work out. We had them roosted. They flew off the south side on the other side of the creek and uh, we were not able to get them to come into us. So what we did is we went ahead and bought our day permits to hunt on public land out here around some of the lakes around Duncan. Hunting here on public land, we uh, haven't seen or heard any turkey at all. But one thing we did find, which to me is still pretty cool because I love eating the darn things. Look right here. Morels. We have found morels. Jeremy has never got to pick morels. I, I said, I think he said this is the first time he's ever seen them in the wild, right? So this is the first time he's ever seen them in the wild. So we are going to pick ourselves about a hat full of morels, so.
nice shot, bud. That's what's up. Hey, man, how uh, about that? How about oh that? Oh, my gosh. My friend. Holy smoke. My friend. Dude, I felt like he was getting <laughs> a little anti on that decoy because he wasn't moving. <laughs> hey, dude. Oh, my gosh. Holy, Talk about a perfect morning. Holy smoke. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my. Oh. Hey. Oh. My goodness. Back up, back up, back up. Woo. Uh, hey. Guys, that is what it's all about. That's it right there. Oh, brother man. Thank you. Yes, sir, my friend. Take that, Carol Baskins. <laughs> hey, that's a dead bird, brother. I saw him. Okay, so in between those two, the yeah, two tall sheep, I saw him, I fly, saw him down. fly down. Oh. And he can't, he took his sweet precious time though, didn't he? Dude, I didn't think, I didn't know, like when he, I saw him fly down behind the dam. Yeah. And I was thinking, you know what? <laughs> He's there was three ways he could have came. He could have came right over the dam. He could have swung around the south end. Or he could have gone around this uh -huh. uh, northwest end of the dam. Yep. And if he'd have gone over the northwest end, we wouldn't have saw him until he popped he out was right, right here. here. Yeah. And when he come over that dam, I heard you say, "There he is, there he is." Well, I couldn't see him because this tree <laughs> was in my way. Right <laughs> and then I'm looking, and I'm like, I don't see him. And then he fanned out, and I was like, Oh my gosh, he's right there, dude. Honestly, I did not think that he was going to come in, and something had him off edge. What y'all didn't see on camera was we had a group of what, like 12, 13 kids? Yeah. And there was one, the, 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 the sow in front was a good sized sow. Yeah, they they come Shoot, within- They went what, 20 yards? 15, 20, 20 yards? 15, 20 yards from us. The Tom, you, I couldn't get it on video because he went down below the grass, but he had laid down like he was hiding from something and I couldn't figure out That's what he was man. doing. And then all of a sudden we look over because I hear something rustle. And there's pigs, just And as soon as the pigs passed by, he stood back up, and that's when he went ahead and came into these decoys. But guys, I want to check this bird out. <laughs> yeah. I, I really do, man. It's going to be good. had a successful morning we weren't able to get a clip this morning uh, when we sat down because as soon as we sat down birds were just firing off I mean they were gobbling left and right so we didn't put any light out on us until you know they had flown down from the loop roost we didn't want to take the chance of them seeing the light and not coming into the decoy so we we held off on the intro yeah. guys I want to give a huge shout out to Kirk Brown at Wild Horse Paradise um, they let us come out this morning harvest this bird. I cannot say thank you enough. It's been an amazing morning. My buddy John Winter, man, my God, thank you. It's my pleasure, man. Man, I mean, it was it was an eventful morning. I mean, we had the pigs come in as that soon as cool. he's coming in. That was cool. And we wondered why he laid down. Yeah. And he was trying to hide from those yeah. from those pigs. Well, I've I've never seen a turkey literally try to hide like that you know i mean he literally just just plopped down yeah and when he did i was like what is he doing like what, what's going on and then all of a sudden i heard the rustling i looked over and they just come barreling out of that little 15, thicket right 15, there 15 20 yards right in front of us oh, and it, it was nuts so john again thank you man that's my pleasure i mean this has been a great morning guys stay with us we've got more turkey episodes coming up hopefully more of the guys get some turkey down soon and we'll have some more episodes out for you but uh thank y'all god bless and get them to you